Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Today we're going to be looking at a new member that is joining our family, which is the Car CW9. So let's go ahead and take a quick look and dive in. All right, so in front of us we have again the Car CW9. Let's see. Um, just so you guys know, it is unloaded and the weapon is safe. All right, now that we have a little bit closer up here, um, at the time I got this, uh, we got it for 500. Right now, you can find it different places, anywhere from 413 to um, 500, and even over 500. It did come with two seven-round magazines, um, and then obviously I did purchase uh, some additional magazines as well as a st standard capacity. Um, I have to look that up but anyways um, this one right here the CW9 comes with either a 2.6 inch barrel or a 3.6 inch barrel um, and I got it with the uh, 3.6 inch um, let's go ahead and see the weight of it empty let's see there we go let's see so we have an uh, empty weight of uh, 17 ounces. And if we go ahead and put one of the mags in, it goes to 22.4 ounces. And if we put the extended mag in, we go to 25.1. So I 25.1 so let's see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten rounds it only goes up about one ounce um, for that which isn't bad at all uh, I went with the car because I've never had one of those before looking for something different and uh, saw it and thought the price was good and I was just like well you know what let's go ahead and um, let's try that one um, I like to have a decent amount of magazines one because I don't want to sit there and constantly be loading when I'm at the range um, two just because I like having a good amount of magazines um, to have ready um, I don't think you can ever go wrong with having too many magazines um, let's take a quick look too at the um, trigger pull. Let's see here. So it's a heavy one. That one came in at 8.5. And it's very stiff. That's one thing I was told. This is hard and stiff even though it has oil on it um, I was told that that should go away between five to a thousand rounds um, but I don't think it's that bad anyways personally 8.5 again so it definitely has a uh, pretty heavy uh, trigger pull on that um, so we have a total of two, four, six, seven, eight, nine magazines. Um, very thin profile. Um, that's with the uh, magazine that it came with. And then with the 10 rounder in, um, not much. It comes out some for sure, but it's still very comfortable and it, if you want to use this for um, concealed carry, I think it would work perfectly fine. Um, very thin platform, which I like. Compact, small. Um, it's not an issue to carry this uh, anywhere, actually. And that's another thing that I like about it as well. Um, Try to think what else. I think that's it for right now. Now we got to go out to the range and test this out and see uh, how it fires. So we will be um, continuing this video 
uh, tomorrow we're gonna head out to the range take it out and we are going to break it in some alrighty so we're continuing this video we are at the range today uh, again, we have our car CW 9 millimeter. Uh, we'll be firing some um, 115 grain ammunition. We're gonna go ahead and just test this out and um, get finally, uh, you know, get some rounds to it. See if it loosens up the uh, slide some. Actually, I'm not sure if we're gonna be firing that many, but still, let's go ahead and uh, test this out and you know, see how this works. All right, so four shots. Um, I forgot it has a long um, trigger pull, and obviously there's some weight behind it. So this was doing um, 8.5 pounds. Um, definitely not used to that. More used to around the uh, three, four, uh, maybe five and a half or six. Uh, not even six actually. Most things I think I have are doing probably about four to five maybe. Uh, or 3.5. But um, it is very smooth, that's for sure. And I like that. It's it's everything's everything's smooth. It feels like the recoil for something this small is low. Again, it is a um, metal slot. It's yeah, you know, scrap that. It's overall for a nine millimeter for this type of um, weapon. It's the recoil is at least seems very little. Alrighty, so we've done about uh, seven magazines. Um, really actually liking this. Um, again, very smooth. The magazines pop out really nice, which is um, something you don't always get. <laughs> but it's, I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far with this, that's for sure. We're going to go ahead and put some more rounds down range and let's keep at it. Alrighty, so we're have the uh, 10 round magazine in now again it doesn't really stick out too much to me or my um, my view but you know a few additional rounds never hurts okay trigger is being pulled nothing is going on this did happen one other time but I was not recording so We have no ding. So the trigger did not reset basic. The trigger did not reset basically on that, which is kind of strange. But hey, you know what? That's why we got to wear it in. See what's going on.
Okay, same thing again. Not sure why that's happening. Again, no hit, so the trigger is not resetting. Alrighty, so welcome back. We are back inside uh, from the range. We took out the uh, car CW9 today and went ahead and test fired it. Um, already from firing it, um, I only fired about 275 rounds, but I can tell the tightness of the slide has started to loosen up, so it's not so tight, uh, which is good. So I figure we put another 275 rounds. Through it or more, uh, it's going to get to whatever looseness it's supposed to be at. Um, overall, I I like the car. Um, again, we had two, four, six, we had seven, uh, seven round magazines. These are the magazines here. And then we had two of the, uh, of the ten rounders. Um, I've ordered more ten rounders. Um, another reason why I like having lots of mags is I don't like having to. What I did today was stop and you know reload up all the mags and then uh, shoot and then reload up all the mags again. I like just having a whole bunch of mags loaded. It makes things a lot easier and enjoyable at the range. Uh, an issue we did have was that several times while firing this, um, when it chambered the next round, it did not cock the uh, the weapon. So we would pull the trigger. Let's see. Weapon is safe. Um, with that right now, it did the firing pin fired, but what would happen is we would pull and nothing. So we would have to rack the slide. The round would come out. Next round would come in, and then um, the weapon would be ready to fire. Um, so I'm not quite sure why that happened. I don't know if that's part of uh, this type of weapon. I don't know if it's part of the wearing process. We were firing 115 grain, as you guys can see here, both uh, steel ammunition, steel cased ammunition, and uh, brass ammunition. So it's not that it was one type of ammunition or something. Ammunition at the end of the day was not causing that. That was an internal um, hardware issue that was happening, which I hope gets resolved. Um, Another thing that was definitely different was the trigger pull. Again, it is an eight and a half pound trigger pull, and it's a long trigger pull. So let's see if we can do this here. See, very, very long pull for that. So that was a little unusual for me, so it was kind of funky at first. Uh, firing it just because you're not used to well I wasn't used to that long of a fire that long of a trigger pull and also that much weight behind the trigger pull but other than that I'm very impressed with the weapon thus far we'll definitely be firing it more uh, probably will be doing some more videos on it uh, but so far I'd have to give it a thumbs up the car CW9 is definitely a nice compact um, handgun. It's enjoyable to uh, fire. Um, the magazines are single stack, not double stack. Um, yes, you're only getting, even with the, uh, the standard 10 rounder, you're only getting 10 rounds and it does stick out some, but to me that wasn't a big issue. And you know, even if you had it in you, I personally don't think it would bother me. Um, I don't mind it. I mean, you could keep the seven rounds. Yes, you're you're getting limited on how many rounds you're having in the weapon, but um, I can just fix that with the ten. Some people might complain, but again, a lot of uh, concealed um, weapons that people use, anyways, um, are holding, you know, between like the ten rounds, a few less, or you know, obviously then there's the some that can go up to thirteen plus. But again positive experience with this. Uh, we'll be taking it out more. Looking forward to my additional magazines that I ordered today coming in. 
Um, but that was uh, the main issue was with it uh, chambering the next round, but um, the weapon itself not cocking in that process uh, to release that firing pin. But we'll we'll test it out. Probably do some little bit of research on that. See if other people ran into that issue or see if it's a known issue that is something that uh, maybe um, that has to be fixed from the manufacturer or if it's just something that kind of clears up after the wear and the wearing in process of the weapon. So thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them and you guys have a good day.